How to make pomegranate jelly. First, you'll need about five pomegranates. Either pick them from a tree or purchase them at your local store. Make sure they are ripe and that they don't look like this. That is bad. Step two is to create a station. You'll need a large knife and a cutting board and a table. It's best to do this outside since the pomegranates are really messy and they stain. Step three, cut off the ends of the pomegranate and then cut in half. Repeat until all your pomegranates are cut. If you are uncomfortable using a knife, try finding someone who isn't, like my dad. Then using a juicer, juice the pomegranates. Ours was purchased off Amazon, in case you were wondering. After juicing the pomegranates, strain the juice into a separate container. Repeat until all your pomegranates are strained, or until the container is full. Next, you'll need three pots. A large, a medium, and a small. The large and the small will be used to sanitize the lids and jars. And the third is to make the jelly. You'll need mason jars for the jelly. Any size is acceptable. Don't forget these tools. They'll be very helpful. You can purchase these off of Amazon. Strain your pomegranate juice again through a damp cheesecloth and then fill 3 fourths cup juice in the sauce pot. Stir in your pectin sugar into the juice. Bring it to a rolling boil. Next, stir in your sugar. Return to a rolling boil and boil for exactly one minute. Take out one of the jars from the large pot and immediately pour the mixture in. Put on the lid and place back into the water for five minutes. Remove and turn upside down to ensure a perfect seal. Refrigerate and enjoy.